वर्णिवे शर्मणीयदर्शन मंदहासुचिराननाबुज पूजित सुरनरो तमेर्मुदा धर्मनंदनमह विचित धर्मनंदनमह विचित श्री घनश्याम महाराज जय सुप्रीम ऑल माटी और बिलौट घनश्याम महाराज और पूज्य पाद गुरु जी ऑल ऑफ यू डूट इज जय स्वामी नारायण यस्टरडे वी हैव सेलिब्रेटेड भगवान स्वामी नारायण टू थर्टी फोर्थ बर्थडे हियर इन लोया धाम मंदिर we have celebrated bhagwan swami narayan's birthday on grand level for that we have celebrated bhagwan's birthday with ras and other dances the most compassionate personality bhagwan swami narayan soaring grace upon countless souls like us he manifested before 234 year on this earth only for the liberation of countless millions of jeevs the main purpose of bhagwan's manifestation on this earth is to liberate many many on cons uh, many many souls whoever a person came in contact with bhagwan swami narayan he immediately got liberation not only that but who even came in contact of bhagwan swami narayan's divine santo at the time they call as paramhanso those all kinds of jeevs all kinds of person all people they also attain ultimate liberation and finally they reach into bhagwan swami narayan's divine abar aksardham the another main work of bhagwan swami narayan's manifestation on this earth is to spread and develop and create an atmosphere for a bhagavad dharma Bhagwan Swami Narayan himself preach a moral codes and conducts to live a spiritual as well as a good so- uh, social life for each and every person for that he had wrought shiksha patri not only that but giving discourses on various topics Bhagwan Swami Narayan preaches how to lead how to live a prosperous and religious life by which we can attain ultimate liberation and those sermons and preachings of bhagwan swami narayan captured by his nan santo they are called as panso paramhanso now the paramhanso they what they did they would like to travel one village to another to contact one people to another people and they preach people the moral codes and conduct all kinds of messages of bhagwan swami narayan santo preach the people about eternal knowledge that 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 means a uh, supremacy knowledge of rup- supremacy of bhagwan swami narayan and when any person how a form faith in the form of bhagwan swami narayan if a person has a true knowledge of supremacy of bhagwan swami narayan then that person automatically become changed and become a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan and then 
he finally attained bhagwan swaminarayan's divine abode aksardham this is what main task performed by bhagwan swaminarayan and his santo but at the time of bhagwan swaminarayan there were many many santos in our swaminarayan sampraday about 2000 to 2500 santo in our satsang at the time amongst them 500 santo they are very popularly known as panso paramhanso they are very senior and great but amongst them sadguru sri muktanand swami he was a very senior and one of the great sant of bhagwan swami narayan even bhagwan swami narayan he himself believed him as a guru not only that but even though bhagwan swami narayan is bhagwan himself still he gave respect to muktanand swami as any disciple gave respect to his guru on the other hand muktanand swami he had performed a duty of bhagwan swami narayan's guru not only that but after becoming disciple of bhagwan swami narayan he followed each and every commands of bhagwan swami narayan this is what muktanand swami's greatness who once become a guru of bhagwan and the same after some time muktanand swami become a disciple of bhagwan swami narayan this is his greatness that muktanand swami he was very great still he behaved as very humble his nature contains saintliness all of the virtues of saintliness we can we can see each and every saintliness virtue from life of muktanand swami in our satsang there are so many incidents related muktanand swami saintliness not only that but even sometimes it happened that some oppositions oppositors came to even kill or beat santo but muktanand swami by experiencing and observing muktanand swami's saintliness his humbleness even oppositor they fell down and bow to muktanand swami this is what his greatness now this muktanand swami to follow bhagwan swami narayan's command he was traveling one village to another and contact one people to another to preach bhagwan swami narayan's divine message in this way muktanand swami teach us even one become a great still he had to follow bhagwan's command muktanand swami teach us even though he was very great still he follow each and every command of bhagwan so we are not such great personality we are an ordinary human being so for us if we want to attain bhagwan's pleasure if we want to become a strong devotee of bhagwan we should follow each and every command of bhagwan this is what we can learn from muktanand swami's life now muktanand swami traveling from one village to another now according to bhagwan swami narayan's command he was alone there is no any companion sent with him and muktanand swami once forgot the way 
by mistake as he remember bhagwan swaminarayan's divine form so once upon a time he forgot his way and he has selected a way to jungle from early morning to late evening he was walking throughout the jungle without any fear of wild animals tigers lions leopard etc he has no fear of death because he experiences every moment bhagwan swami narayan with himself we should also feel we should even try to feel bhagwan with us each and every moment this is the another message which we can learn from muktanand swami's life if bhagwan with us then we have no any worry no tension no trace nothing now muktanand swami remembering bhagwan swami narayan's divine form he was walking through the jungle from early morning to late evening he had not even drink a water he had not met even a single human in the jungle now at last he could able to cross the jungle but at the end of the jungle there was a river the flow of river was very fast very speedy so it is impossible to cross the river by swimming now muktanand swami has controversial situation if he stay on that same place the wild animals like tigers lions leopard etc they would kill him and if he try to cross the river by swimming he could not because the flow of river was very speedy on the other hand he was very thirsty because from early morning he had not drink even a drop of water now he was very exhausted and he felt dehydration still he remember bhagwan swami narayan now muktanand swami got some adverse circumstances when he saw that there there is no any way to cross the river now muktanand swami said this is a very very good time in my life now after day time enjoy divine bliss eternal bliss of bhagwan swami narayan in his abode he has no fear he has no any kind of fear of death the water of river was very salty so muktanand swami could not even drink water from the river now he was exhausted his body his tongue felt some dehydration still he could not forgot to remember bhagwan's form this incident teaches to remember god remember bhagwan's divine form even in each and every condition of our life whether we have happiness in our life or if we have encounter any kind of misery or pain or sorrow in our life still we have to remember bhagwan even at the time of misery because bhagwan is the only friend of the soul in time of distress or in time of 
any adverse circumstances. Nobody else than Bhagwan could help us. So for that, remember Bhagwan. Muktanand Swami continually remember Bhagwan Swami and his divine form. Now when Muktanand Swami got the sense of the situation, he could not have any fear, but instead, instead of fear, he felt some joy. He became overjoyed. And Muktanand Swami says, uh, for that Niskudanand Swami, Rad in Bhakta Chintamani, Dekhi Samaj Sankat Tano Muktananda ne moda che gano. When Muktanan Swami realized adverse circumstances, even the situation in which there is no any option than the death, still Muktanan Swami became overjoyed. He felt happiness because he has no any kind of worry in his heart. He, in his heart, only Bhagwan Swami Narayan. There is nothing. So Muktanand Swami became overjoyed while he saw and observed the situation. Just remember, you are alone and you are just feeling the, you experiencing feeling of death or even fear of death, then what would you do at the time? Most of the people in the world, they remember Bhagwan, but they never become overjoyed. They, most of the people in the world, when they feel a fear of death, they remember Bhagwan, but mostly they feel some dangerousness or some pain in their heart. They never experience at the time any kind of happiness. But Muktanand Swami, he feels some happiness because he has no worry. He know Muktanand Swami knew that if I could not drink a water then there is no problem. Bhagwan Swami Narayan came here and he will bring me to his Akshardham. If I could not cross the river and stay at the same place, if wild animals came and killed me, Bhagwan Swami Narayan will come and he bring me with him in Akshardham. So now, what is worry? In this way, Muktanand Swami remember Bhagwan Swami Narayan. And Bhagwan Swami Narayan at the time appeared there in the river with the boat. Bhagwan Swami Narayan took a form of Brahmin. He came with a boat and he asked Muktanand Swami, What are you searching for? Muktanand Swami explained that I have no any aid and there is no any help of crossing this river. That's why I am waiting for any help so that I can cross the river. Now Bhagwan Swaminarayan in the form of a Brahmin who came with a boat, he said, I have my boat and if you want to cross the river, please sit in my boat, I can help you. Now Muktanand Swami without any uh, asking any question, he sat in the boat and Bhagwan Swami Narayan crossed the river with the boat and when Muktanand Swami came on another bank and at the time Bhagwan Swami Narayan in the form of Brahmin he told Muktanand Swami go ahead slowly I was come later but when Muktanand Swami took two or four steps then Bhagwan, uh, then Muktanand Swami saw back. There was no one there. 
no brahmin no boat nothing then muktanand swami realized that there is no one but bhagwan swami narayan himself came to help me bhagwan swami narayan had saved my life in this controversial and in this adverse and very bad situation bhagwan swami narayan himself took a form of brahmin and he had helped me now in this way muktanand swami realized a miracle in his life that bhagwan swami narayan himself came to him for saving his life not only that but in life of muktanand swami many many time he had experience a different kinds of such miracles performed by bhagwan swami narayan but in bhakta chintamani chapter 131 sadguru sinaskuran swami wrote this incident in life of muktanand swami then after sadguru sinaskuran swami wrote for another miracle and that is a miracle experienced by akhandanand swami akhandanand swami was also one of the great sant of bhagwan swami narayan he was also by fo- following bhagwan swami narayan's command he was also traveling one place to another and in the same way he forgot the way while remembering bhagwan swami narayan's divine form and he was misguided in the jungle he was also alone there was no any companion sant with him now in the jungle there is no any human being but only wild animals in the jungle all four directions he saw four lions came near to him now akhandanand swami when he saw four direction lions then he remember bhagwan and he thought in his mind that if i would die simply like other men then my body would be burned in the in the fire but now this is very good chance if i i will i would be killed by these lions then they would eat my body so that even after my death at least they can <clears throat> they can have some food and in this way my body would be bene- uh, would get beneficial for those lions and thinking in this way akhandan and swami without any fear of death he was walking when lions came near to him he had no any fear and he called all the lions he invited lions for killing him but at that time bhagwan swami narayan he was a real friend of each and every soul bhagwan swami narayan by his power of omniscient omnipresent he appear he came into the heart of those lands and bhagwan swami narayan give a thought to those lands that this this was no, no one but a great sant of bhagwan you should not kill him and in this way bhagwan swami narayan sev akhandanand swami for these lions all those lions they even bowed down to akhandanand swami not even touch him and after performing pradakshina to akhandanand swami the all four lions they disappear into the jungle nobody had listened such incident 
even any book of history when an animal or when an wild animal made any human being and without even touching bow down to him and even while performing pradakshina and disappear this is without bhagwan without bhagwan's miracle and this would never happen in this way akhandanand swami also experience a divine miracle happen in his life and when those lions disappear akhandanand swami realized that this is the doership of my lord bhagwan swami narayan without him there was no one who can save my life and akhandanand swami realized more greatness in his heart and feel more compensed the nature of bhagwan swami narayan now then after sadguru niskudan and swami wrote another incident of the life of kaivalyan and swami once upon a time kaivalyan and swami along with his five santo he was traveling to preach bhagwan swami narayan's divine message on the part of northern gujarat now after some time he had preached satsang divine virtues to the people after that once they realized a need of a darshan of bhagwan swami narayan this was the bhagwan swami narayan's non santo they held a constant contemplation of bhagwan swami narayan's divine form not only that but even they could see bhagwan swami narayan all three state of our human nature waking dream and deep sleep they could see bhagwan swami narayan even waking even doing any activity not only that but even in dream and even in deep sleep state but still they have realized the need of bhagwan swami narayan's darshan so as an ordinary human being we should also realize the benefit and greatness of darshan of bhagwan swami narayan this is what the glory and importance of bhagwan's darshan and for that we should came to mandir for darshan we have facility to have darshan of bhagwan in our home but to come in mandir that is totally different thing because kaivalyan and swami along with his five santo they all have such a greatness that they could see bhagwan swami narayan in whole the day and night but still they want to have darshan of bhagwan swami narayan face to face and for that once they decided to go gadda where bhagwan swami narayan stay now they came back to gadda but in the way they have a river sabarmati at the time when they reached the river river was flooded with water now there is no any help to cross the river but as they have eagerness to do darshan of bhagwan swami narayan and for that already they they all were walking speedy so that they could reach gadda in minimum time now without seeing the flooded river they all just walking on the river but the flooded river river or the water it could not decide that this was the sant or this was a sinner who came into contact of the river he do his work 
that is its nature and all the santo they are just they have some feeling of death because in water they could not know to swim and as they did not knew they did not know the same and so sometimes they went into deep into the water and again came out from the water kaivalyan and swami instructed all the santo that this was a time of distress this was a time of our death now in such a situation or in this time we should remember and chant bhagwan swami narayan's mantra so all santo chanting bhagwan swami narayan's divine mantra swami narayan swami narayan swami narayan now at the time suddenly bhagwan swami narayan himself appear in the flooded river with a boat he fetch all of the santo with his own hands and took all the santo into the boat along with their belongings now in this way bhagwan swami narayan helped his santo even in the flooded river now after crossing the river bhagwan swami narayan instructed all the santo not go too much, too fast but go slow in this way bhagwan swami narayan gave a miracle and saved life of his santo sadguru muktanand swami akhnanand swami and kaivalyanand swami along with his five santo when bhagwan swami narayan performed such kind of miracle that is only for liberation of the many many jeevs when a spiritual aspirant like us when we read such incident or when we listen such incident then by listening and reading such incident of bhagwan swami narayan's divine miracle in the heart of people who read or listen it they have understood some greatness of bhagwan swami narayan and when any person who understand bhagwan swami narayan's real glory and greatness gradually in his heart form faith unflinching faith of bhagwan swami narayan's divine form and his glorious greatness develop and when such unflinching faith develop in one's heart there is no any other greatness in our satsang one who has attained unflinching faith in the form of bhagwan swami narayan because if a person or a devotee has a firm faith in bhagwan swami narayan then he definitely obey each and every command of bhagwan and by obeying his command he definitely attain ultimate liberation and finally he he will go to a divine abode of bhagwan that is aksardham this is the only way and this is the method for liberation of countless millions of souls and for that purpose bhagwan swami and himself manifest on this earth and even in vachanamrut bhagwan himself said that all of my devotees they should remember anand devotees satsangi meaning devotees uh, santo brahmachari not only that but also remember all of these great festivals bhagwan swami narayan had performed at present time for the same purpose bhagwan swami narayan's ekantik sant like our puja guruji he also performs such grand festivals grand celebration 
and establish these mandirs like Loyadang so that whoever remember such grand festivals or remember such santo or duties who would also got liberation at the time of his death bhagwan says even one who forget the form of bhagwan at the time of death but if he remember these duties and santo or such grand festivals then with the association of such divine things and divine santo bhakto person could definitely remember bhagwan swami narayan's divine form and in this way by remembering bhagwan's divine form at the time of death one can easily attain divine abode of bhagwan that is akshardham and for that bhagwan swami narayan himself manifested on this earth and not only that but he brought here his santo who was the permanent resident of his divine akshardham and even today he himself as he said in the vachanamrut that at each and every time whenever a jew has a birth on this earth as a human being there is many divine personalities who are a pers- permanent resident of bhagwan's divine akshardham meaning the mukto the definitely appear on this earth and one who saw uh, one who had attained a refuge of such a sant bhagwan's ekantik sant like our puja guru ji that person definitely can attain liberation he can definitely understood he can definitely understand the divine glory and greatness of bhagwan swami narayan and when one realize bhagwan's greatness then he could definitely attain his divine form he could even feel happiness the eternal happiness of divine akshardham while living on this earth as a human being this is what 131 chapter of bhakta chintamani written by sadguru sinskuran and swami and in this chapter nisskuran and swami had written miracles experienced by sadguru sri muktanand swami akhandanan swami and kaivalanand swami now if we realize and if we observe our own life many many times bhagwan swami narayan also save our life not save our life but in many times bhagwan swami narayan himself by one form or another by his original form or taking a form of another person or even while staying in the heart of another person or a sant or arising while staying in the heart of sant bhagwan swami narayan many times help us and he even cross our time period of misery in our life but if we can have a practice of observance bhagwan is definitely help us but we have to cultivate a practice to see miracle experience the miracle in our life so by reading and listening this miracle happen in the santo's life performed by bhagwan swami narayan we should at least try to realize and feel such miracles in our life for realizing and experiencing such miracles in life it is not necessary time of death or any such controversial situation but even without help of bhagwan swami narayan we cannot live a very prosperous religious life without his grace we we can never have such a good company of santo and puja guru ji without his grace 
वी कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड वाट भगवान स्वामीनारायण से इज इन वचनामृत और वी कैन नॉट इवन अंडरस्टैंड द रियल ग्लोरी एंड ग्रेटनेस ऑफ हिज डिवाइन फॉर्म हिज संतो हिज भक्तो दिस इज वॉट ग्रेटनेस एंड ग्लोरी ऑफ भगवान स्वामीनारायण हाउ he had developed a method for liberation of countless millions of jeevs on this earth by saying this jai swami narayan shri ganeshyam maharaj ni jai shri patim shri dharam sarva deveshwaram bhakti dar matmajam vasudevam hare madavam keshavam kamadam karanam स्वामीनारायण नीलकंठम भजे श्री घनश्याम महाराज नी